Just imagine the ground opening up, swallowing trees, wildlife, and threatening hundreds of homes. It really sounds like something out of a movie, but this is the reality. Playing out in nearby Assumption Parish, the community of Bayou Corn is making headlines around the world. It may just be a dot on the map, but there is a massive sinkhole in the ground there. Since it formed last August, the sinkhole in Bayou Corn has continued to grow, as have the questions and concerns from those in the area. Tonight, in the first of a two-part series, KTC is taking you on the ground in Assumption Parish, and now a look at why this geological event is truly one of a kind. This is where the ground opened up in Assumption Parish, a tranquil body of water, but trouble is, it wasn't here one year ago. It's located on land leased by a company called Texas Brine, which from 1982 to 2011 operated a brine cavern 5,600 feet below the surface, and that's where this story begins. There was a breach in the cap, and most likely cause of the sinkhole. The sinkhole was first observed on August 3, 2012. That's one year after Texas Brine stopped mining the cavern. But with the sinkhole so close to their cavern, one month after its discovery, Texas Brine drilled an observation well to inspect the integrity of their cavern. The roof, found in the exact same spot, 3,397 feet from the surface, but inside, the problem. The floor of the cavern shifted and is not as deep as it used to be. When the cavern was closed, its floor measured 5,655 feet from the surface. The latest measurements put it much closer to the surface, about 3,500 feet down. According to Texas Brine, this indicates a breach, and according to the company, 97% of the cavern is now filled with what was outside sediment. Back at the surface, the sinkhole is the scene of not only a cleanup, a 3D image of, of this entire area, but also a study. Our guide at Bayou Corn is Sunny Cranch with Texas Brine. It's gotten bigger, but it's gotten shallower. Last summer, the sinkhole measured 490 feet deep, 6 to 7 acres wide. But as more land and vegetation has fallen in, it's essentially been filling in while getting wider. Now measuring just 160 feet deep, but 13 acres wide. Well, from everything I've heard, this, there's been no other event like this uh, ever, that, uh, worldwide. And that's why it's so important to figure out exactly what happened, what caused the sinkhole. All across the area are devices like this, used in 3D seismic imaging. They deploy sound waves to study the geology in and around the sinkhole, including thousands of feet below the surface at the brine cavern. You might very well be able to get an idea of exactly where the breach occurred. We're going to be able to look at hydrocarbons and, and other uh, sediments that are as deep as 7,000 feet all the way to the surface. To this day, that data collection continues, but preliminary results show the brine cavern is stable. So far, no evidence of subterranean pockets that could lead to another sinkhole, nor pockets of natural gas. As the study continues, workers continue to clean debris from land that's given into the sinkhole, but this story is wider and deeper than the sinkhole. With natural gas often seen bubbling at the surface, a mandatory evacuation order was issued in Bayou Corn, affecting 150 households. Not far from the mysterious growing hole in the earth, Bayou Corn is peaceful. It's perfect. For some, it's home. Yep. Don't want to leave it at all, though. No. no. Don't want to leave. Be hard to replace, and, uh, and I tell you, we just don't want to give it up. And that there is Dennis and Pat Landry. They're not going to leave. But you can look for this family story tomorrow night at 10 o'clock right here on KTC.